Okay, so back to business. Here we've got our lineage folder. We've got our GitLab folder. And um, we've got our downloads folder. And let's get started with some, some work here. So let's take our device tree, come back to our blue life one X2. All right, so here's where we left off. We were uh, putting this together. So let's take a look at our uh, master template here. And just so you know, if you didn't steal from a particular device, uh, Lineage OS does have a master template that's just blank that has all the option lines, but nothing actually filled in. So uh, those can be really handy. You can just uh, use uh, web search like DuckDuckGo or Google or something and uh, search Git, GitHub, you'll find it. So there's a lot of files in here, a lot of information, a lot of things that we need. <clears throat> and, uh, and we've slowly been stealing little by little. So what do we have so far? We've taken our lineage.make file. And I think what I want to do, I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to call this the old. And so when we kind of help us out here, when we steal something, let's put that file in the old. So that way we don't keep looking at the same files, trying to figure out what it is we're working with. So we'll put that lineage.make in there. Uh, we'll take the, um, what is that? The full garlic, put that in there. Um, we don't need the README in there. Um, let's see, license file, that's very interesting. And, and I do want to talk about licenses sometime, but we won't talk about that right now. So um, what other files do we have? We have our own vendor setup file. They didn't have one for theirs. That's fine. Um, you know, they don't. They don't have to have one. <clears throat> so system prop, uh, system properties for the garlic. Um, a lot of system properties that are in here, really good um, information, stuff like that. We're gonna deal with that in a little bit. We've got these setup make files and extract files, which we're gonna work on also in a little bit, but those are how we pull vendor files off of the device. We've already pulled all the vendor files, but we're going to look at why these are useful um, soon as well. So let's take this android.make. We're going to make a copy of it. Put it in here. We'll move this to old so it's out of the way. So we've got our android.make. Let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. So if the device is garlic. Remember that was the name of our other devices. So we want life one x two. If the device is life one x two, then call all the make files under this local path, which is call my directory. And we're going to say blue life one x two. And this is this TFTP file. And I, I don't quite know off the top of my head what that is. So we're going to call this a to-do. What is this? And we'll come back to that a little later. And then they're doing some particular work with the camera, uh, libcamera.so and stuff like that. Um, we are going to comment this out because I don't believe that these two phones have the same camera. So I don't even think this will be useful for us. Um, and notice this is IMS Simlinks, and then it's like IMS Simlinks um, modules for the, the camera itself. And so I don't really think we're going to need that. You have your if and end if statement, and this is our this is our Android uh, Android dot make file. So we're going to save that, 
and we're going to close it. Now we do have a to do in here. Figure out what this tftp.make file is. So let's take a look. tftp.make. This is for, let's see. Seems to be making uh, some links, symbolic links from one place to another. Okay, so this means a link, soft link, not a hard link, but a soft link or symbolic link. And uh, it's saying uh, we want this to be the, the name of what we want it to be at. That's where we're creating a link. And it actually links to this um, file right here. So it looks like, looks like maybe they had some sort of problem where they needed to get this information linked from one place to another. And notice that it's for MDM or modem folders and APQ folders and MSM folders. This is, has to do with the system on a chip. So I don't know 100% if we need this or not, but I tell you what, I think we do because this is for the system on a chip stuff and we are, um, you know, building the same system on a chip. So we're just going to copy that over and we're going to put it in and we're going to change our Android make file to say, okay, we'll go ahead and include it. And if we don't need it, then we can get rid of it later. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we'll throw this into our old right there. Now notice I didn't move our device into old because we still need a lot of stuff from there. So let's take these extract and setup files and we're going to copy them and we're going to put them over here and we'll go ahead and move those into our old folder. So what do these files do? Let's open with you to take a look. So this is how you pull things from the device normally. And you say, well, we just went ahead and took everything from the device. Why do we need this tool to do it as well? Well, that's a great question. Um, first reason is this really helps other people if they're going to build from your device tree. and if for some reason they don't have your vendor blobs that you downloaded because maybe you didn't put them online or whatever, but they do have the phone, they can just, if this script is set up properly, they just plug in their phone and they can download it from their phone. Um, also, this is really handy, especially if you're gonna start um, upping the version of Android and things like that, where you can uh, maybe have it pull certain files, but not other files, and maybe pull more files or less files, depending on what you're using, and maybe you'll fill in the other files with some information or some other pieces or parts that you're using from somewhere else. So this can be really handy for that as well. So let's go ahead and set this up. So device is life one x two. I tell you, I ought to have that you know, copied or something, maybe have a hot key for it. Vendor is blue, all right. And uh, <clears throat> so it's going to go to vendor CM build tools extract utility shell. So let's take a look. Vendor CM build tools extract utility shell does exist, so that's great, all right. And it's going to start doing all of this stuff. Well, what stuff is it going to do? That's a really great question. So let's save this that we've edited because it is good to go. Let's look at the setup one. Again, we have to say our device, the life one X2. We're going to say our vendor is blue. Let's save that. 
it's going to go to that place to get the same thing, right? <clears throat> and it is going to try to pull a bunch of files that are listed in proprietary dash files dot text. <clears throat> so let's see, make sure that we have all of our duckies in a row here. Good. Okay. So essentially what these scripts are doing is they're going to pull from a file that's not here, but is in our master device. Let's take a look at it. And they've been nicely grouped by whoever put this together. Literally, you could just have the string of all of them in here. It wouldn't matter. But it says, hey, I want you to go to vendor lib64 and pull this file. And then I want you to go to bin, you know, and pull this file. And go to etc and pull this file. And go to etc and acdb data, qrd, msm, blah, 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 and pull this file. Right? And oh, while you're there, go over to the um, framework folder and pull this jar. Because this is stuff we need to make this work. So, um, how do we generate this list? Well, that is a wonderful question. There's, um, as far as I know, no file on the phone that you pull off of this. If somebody knows of one, please let me know because I've been misled this whole time. But normally what you do is you go through and see what you've got and you kind of put these lists together based on what you have and then you pull log tabs afterwards to see what you missed. Um, but again, I could be wrong about that. Maybe somebody knows some super secret squirrel file that just tells you all of this stuff anyways. Um, but you notice mostly it's uh, these dot so or um, objects, you know. Um, some XML, which is, you know, uh, like configuration files, a few APKs, apps that are required. Notice this is a privileged app or private app, privileged app, I think is what it stands for. Um, and it needs this QC real MSG tunnel to work. Uh, we need this jar file to work. Okay. So it just goes through, it pulls all of these files off of the phone. Look, here's some firmware, right? Uh, notice this is listed with a to-do. So there's there's maybe some work that still needs to be done here um, that they're not sure about. So we have that file. Let's close that. Um, so we would need to go through and edit specifically for our phone. And our two phones are not identical, but most of this stuff is going to be the same because we have the same system on a chip. However, uh, everything related to the camera, that sort of thing may be completely wrong. However, the naming convention of most things are kind of similar, so it may be close. So we're just gonna grab that for now. Um, if we go to our Folder here, say F4. F4 doesn't work on this one. Here we go. CD, lineage, and we'll set up our build. Oops, build, environment setup.shell. All right, and uh, let's double check that our phone is listed, which it is, right? So let's uh, cd to device, devices, blue, life, one, x, two. And we see we have our shell scripts here. So you can run, set up, make file.shell. OK. And take a look here in the vendor folder. Made a blue folder, life, one, x, two. And now we have this Android make, board config, vendor make, life one. 
X2 vendor bank. And what do we see inside this? It's like, hey, you're going to crop, you're going to copy this file to this place, and this file to this place, and this file to this place. Let me tell you, typing this by hand is ridiculous. So this is a really handy, handy thing to have. And we're going to extract files. So if we run this, it's going to start stealing files. And notice it starts making this proprietary folder. And look, there's a bin, and it's putting stuff in there. Uh, it's going through and stealing the different files that are on the list. It goes through etc, stealing those files that are on the list. Um, you know, let's look in our bin. Look at this stuff. All right. We look at our etc. Look at this stuff. Right. Now again, we're using we're using a proprietary text proprietary files text from the garlic which has the same system on a chip but slightly different um, you know camera and a few other things so are we going to get a hundred percent perfect pull of all the stuff we want I don't think so but we're going to get a really great start of stuff that we can use so you know in the past when we were building ROM in the previous uh, video series, we were going to places like the Muppets and just getting the pre-set, pre-made vendor files already packaged for us. Well, if we're building a phone from scratch, nobody's done that yet, so we have to do it ourselves, and that's what we're doing now. Now, this process, I'm going to warn you, is going to take a while, uh, especially for me because I'm running through a virtual machine that's using a USB 1 connection. So this is going to take a while for it to actually catch up and get everything. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, but um, we are going to update our stuff before I go. We'll just copy that. Paste it right in there. Yep, we're going to overwrite everything that we've got. We'll uh, open a new terminal. And we'll check our status. Git add all. Git commit dash message. Um, added more make files. Uh, let's be a little more specific. Added uh, extract files. We'll just we'll just go with that and hit push. So again, I'm going to let all of this uh, download. It's going to take quite a while. So we're not going to sit here through the whole video while this happens. But do keep in mind that while it's putting this information in, we already made our very own backup um, of the whole phone system drive by using ADB pull. So we can go through and look at vendor files and make sure, hey, is everything we need matched? Is everything we have there? What's, what do we got going on here? And so this is going to be really useful for us. So um, we'll uh, check back in once, uh, once that's done.